Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a minute since I last uploaded. I've been swamped with work and pushing out new features for my startup. Today, I'm tackling some Stripe related tasks, so I figured I'd bring you guys along with me and show you what I'm working on. Let's start with why we chose Stripe over other platforms like Lemon Squeezy, Paddle, or any other alternatives. My first interaction with Stripe was during my very first internship. It really sparked my curiosity. I got to work hands-on with it, learn how it operates, and that's where my interest for payment processing began. Stripe is a super well-established company. Brands like Shopify, Uber, and Amazon use it. So it's kind of the go-to when it comes to payment processing. Plus, their APIs are extremely well-documented, which makes development a lot smoother and more dev-friendly. Now, I won't pretend I haven't seen the Reddit horror stories, but with the right setup and understanding of how it works, Stripe can be a very powerful tool. We're currently using Stripe Connect, which is great for platforms like ours. It allows us to handle payments in many different ways. Sellers can receive payments directly while we charge a platform fee, or we can collect payments on their behalf and distribute it afterwards. What I'm working on today is a small but useful feature. We're adding an option in the Stripe account settings page that lets users unlink their Stripe account. This is especially important if ownership of the business changes and the new owner wants to connect their own Stripe account. I'm also working on implementing webhooks to keep track of users' Stripe account statuses during setup. If you're unfamiliar with what a webhook is, it's basically a way for Stripe to send real-time updates to our server. So for example, when a user completes their Stripe onboarding, Stripe sends us a notification with the updated information. This lets us track which stage of the process they're in and determine whether they should have access to our payment features or not. Here's a quick peek at how it works. Users can come to our settings page and click to connect a Stripe account. Once they hit the button, they're redirected to Stripe. And at that point, our database stores a Stripe account ID and Stripe's webhooks will update the relevant fields in our database as the user completes each step. If the ownership ever changes and the user wants to connect a different Stripe account, they can simply click on the Unlink Stripe Account button where there will be shown a confirmation pop-up and once they agree, the Stripe account is removed from our database. What's really cool about Stripe's webhook is the level of detail that you get. To test it locally, I use ngrok to expose my local server to the internet. So Stripe can send webhook events to my local machine. Here in the logs, you can see all the different events coming through in real time. It's super helpful for debugging and testing each webhook event. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this behind the scenes look or learned something new, feel free to like and subscribe and drop a comment if you want to see more coding vlogs like this. See you guys in the next one.